Hi, I'm Greg from Playtech, and if you're seeing this video, then there's a good chance that you've either just bought a Playtech PC or you're just about to. First of all, let me say thank you. We work really hard to make these gaming systems as good as possible, and we're so grateful that you choose to spend your money with us. Secondly, I want you to know that if anything ever goes wrong, we've got your back. We've been doing this for over 30 years, so we've pretty much seen it all by now. We've got a great team of technicians, and we've got some awesome relationships with our vendors. Did you know that we're the longest standing Intel partner in NZ? In fact, there's only one other Intel partner in the Southern Hemisphere that's been with them as long as us, and they're in Australia. Anyway, let's get on to the main course. Today we're going to look at unboxing and setting up your brand new Playtech PC. When you receive your PC, it's gonna look something like this, a big brown box. So if you open up this box, you'll find your awesome new gaming system packaged up securely inside. There'll be some accessories sitting on top. Just put them to the side for now. We'll come back to that later. Now go ahead and lift it out. If you're having trouble, have a friend hold the box for you while you lift it up. Now remove the polystyrene bumpers, lift off the plastic bag, and place your PC carefully on a table so that we can open it up. You may notice there's something inside the PC. Don't worry, that's what we're looking at now. This is called Instapack, and it's an expanding foam product that helps hold the parts of your computer nice and snug while it's in transit. We're going to remove the side panel by removing the thumb screws, then we're going to gently lift out the Instapack and put it back in the box, along with the bumpers and the plastic bag. These will be useful if we ever need to transport the PC. Now let's put our side panel back on and set up our new PC. Now let's go back to that bag of accessories that we put aside earlier. In this bag, we include all the little accessories and bits and pieces to get you up and running. Often there are also spare bits and pieces that come with your graphics card or other components, so don't worry if you've got some extras. The main thing you're gonna need here is your power cable. Go ahead and grab that out and plug it into the socket on the back of the system, and then plug that into the wall. Make sure you flick the power switch next to the plug so that when the time comes, you'll be able to turn it on. Before we fire it up though, we're going to plug in all the peripherals so that we'll be able to use it. Now this is the part where a lot of people get confused. You might notice in your bag of accessories that you've got this weird little thing like this. It sometimes might not look like this though, it might look like an antenna or something usually. And that's exactly what it is. It's actually the Wi-Fi antenna for your system. Different manufacturers have different ideas about how these should look, but the way to identify them is always by the little brass tips on the cable. Now these brass tips just screw into the rear of your motherboard and these little two terminals here. Once those are in, your computer will be able to pick up that wireless network. Let's plug in your monitor. We're assuming you already have a monitor and some form of display cable, but if not, these are available from our website too. Just reach out to our staff if you want to know which ones are going to let you get the most out of your new gaming PC. So anyway, take your display cable, this will most likely be an HDMI or DisplayPort cable, and plug it into the graphics card on the rear of your PC. Make sure you don't accidentally plug it into your motherboard, which will also have display connections. These should only be used for troubleshooting, so for now, just act like they don't exist. The ports that you're looking for will be down here, further down in this section of your rear panel. This is actually the back of your graphics card. Go ahead and plug your display cable into one of these plugs. It shouldn't matter which one, unless you've got a really high-end monitor that has special requirements. If that's the case, once again, just reach out to us on live chat and we'll walk you through it. Anyway, now that we've got our monitor plugged in, let's go ahead and plug in our USB devices. In this instance, we've got a keyboard and mouse. You'll notice that some ports are marked for different speeds of USB connection, Basic peripherals like mice and keyboards will work in almost any USB port, but some high bandwidth devices like fancy webcams and audio interfaces will often require you to plug into high speed USB-C ports or similar. If you've got some high end gear like that, then I'd recommend checking the manual and making sure you plug it into the right port. Now let's go ahead and turn it on. all went well, you should now be up and running and ready to install some games and start playing. If anything didn't go to plan, don't worry. Computers can be tricky things sometimes, so don't stress out about it too much. Just reach out to us and we'll help you get back on track. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy your new Playtech system.